Drive with the vision of five cops staring through him onto the street. He unleashed his belt buckle and pulled the insides out of his pockets. No cell phone, no wallet, just walk under the underpass and ask them where to proceed. And he went with his book that was folded on page 146, a chapter with regards to crime in New York, the city's crackdown on irresponsible kids. And he went up the stairs. Swaggering his step without a care, he reached his final destination. A line three layers long, with businessmen, mothers, tatted tears on ex-prisoners, brothers. He was just a kid, dangling a fragile pink slip in his hand. The written description of why he is considered a criminal, paraphrased, in faded pen. So by the date he appeared, it must have faded then. And on top of that, they wrote the wrong name. Middle name first and first name initial, so he appeared as a different person and could be arrested regardless. Mistaken identity like everyone there. Everyone in this chaotic city, no one really scared because it's a summons. If you're 18 plus, you don't have to tell your mother. And his time came in line. Window number two, good day, sir. He gave his pink slip through, goodbye. The courtroom's on your right. Past the loaded gun on the policeman's waistline in the mini bodega. Selling Skittles and snacks. But he said, forget the snacks. I'm gonna go sit down and face the facts. He's in trouble and he knows that the way he crinkled the pink slip in his head shows him. It's a bureaucracy and we have to go with it. Listen to the old man's voice drone miscellaneous crimes. Those pleading innocent know that they're lies. He doesn't want anyone to fight the system. Fuck innocent, we're guilty. You're just wasting our time. And three hours went by till they heard his case. Three hours he could have been doing something more productive, like studying or getting blunted. The moral of today is, if you don't want a summons, don't drink in public.